Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ali and today I have a special guest. Hi guys, my name is Rocky. Nice to have you. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I normally do, but we're... Eh, I guess it maybe is the same as what I normally do, but we're doing an album review on the album uh, Mercurial World. <laughs> yeah, Mercurial World. Mercurial World. I can never say it right. Um, by Magdalena Bay. Yeah. Okay. So before this, I guess like two days ago, I had never heard anything by them. Have you? Had you? No, no, I have never heard anything. Uh, we never had heard of the band, heard of their music, but apparently they're really popular, and you may have heard of them at home. I don't know. So this is a complete unbiased opinion. We <laughs> just went for it, and we're here now. I guess we'll go by it song by song. Yeah, we can go okay. song by song. I wrote notes. Yeah, I wrote notes about the mix, production, and, and lyrics. lyrics about each song. Before we do that, should we give our overall score <laughs> of the whole album? <laughs> yeah, we could. Um, It's out of 10, right? Yeah. Oh, lordy. Okay, yeah. We, we should can do, do that. Okay, ready? Three two one six, six. Oh! <laughs> yes six yeah, six yeah. Like, i was like a high six yeah 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 wow okay six so, out of ten yeah great okay <laughs> so the first song the end kind of creative there yeah putting the end in the beginning yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um I thought it was pretty groovy. It overall. is. The, yeah. Yeah. I think like the instruments in the mix were placed properly. Like, yeah. I could hear everything. The space was nice. Mm -hmm. um, lyric wise. <laughs> it. I don't know. I feel like they could. They could improve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, being that I had never heard it before and I hadn't heard the whole album. I may have been a little too generous because i was like oh this is creative and this is new to my ear yeah so i was like uh maybe a seven i went in with high hopes um and i i mean i won't spoil it all but i i was <laughs> <coughs> i was um i don't know we'll, we'll leave it for later yeah yeah we'll leave it for later cool so it was a cool little intro yeah the transition into the next song was Fire. fire yeah that's one thing about this album yeah. the transitions were nice yeah that's the one thing about listening to albums as they were placed yeah uh, that i feel like a lot of people like don't do anymore like artists take the time to like figure out the transitions and figure out things and like the timing yeah a lot of people like oversee that and don't and listen to full yep, albums. and this is definitely an album that you can't just put on shuffle yeah like you gotta listen from beginning to the end or i guess the end to the beginning in this case i definitely agree I, <sighs> mercurial world okay so transition was beautiful i said lyrics could be a less could be a little bit less tacky um <laughs> um uh i also said the production i think was amazing it was layered very yeah. full sounding mm -hmm. um and then my one thing about this and this could apply to the whole album in general some sometimes the vocals the way that they're uh the, the way that they sit in the mix um oh yeah i totally I, agree yeah. it's like it's either in like one song it's like super drenched with reverb but uh -huh. then like it doesn't fit with the rest of the mix and i think that's what happened in this song it was mm -hmm. so drenched in reverb that i feel like the actual lyrics were drowned out yeah like it was just like a bunch of mumble and i was like what <laughs> what are the lyrics i had to like swipe up on spotify and read the lyrics as i was listening to the song yeah i probably should have done that too oh <laughs> when you read the lyrics with the song man yeah. yeah i couldn't understand what she was saying dawning of the season okay <laughs> I love the bass line in this song. Um, uh -huh. The production is great. Yeah. Um, but mix-wise, I feel like, like I said, it's drenched in reverb and delay, and it feels like the voice is, like, farther away yeah. from me. Yeah. I don't know if that was intended. 
No, I wrote that too. I said vocals aren't eh. Like, um, yeah, like, vocals aren't eh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if like they necessarily sat where they were supposed to in the mix. And it's interesting, like how the vocals are treated throughout the whole album. Oh my god, yeah, it's drastically different from like song to song. Uh huh. Like. So I just feel like what they did with this one didn't really work. Yeah, it didn't really. W- that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. s- sometimes when you drench vocals and reverb, it's not gonna work with the mix that you have, yeah. especially based on the production. Like the production was not. This was not the right fit. Yeah. For uh, drenched vocals. I said the the mix kind of, I felt like I was drowning <laughs> a little bit. The way that the lyrics are phrased in uh-huh. terms of like line for line, there it's it makes me feel a little bit stuck. Like oh, I'm like, okay. whoa, like that line shouldn't have ended on that word. Oh, Or that syllable. Okay. Yeah. So I, I wrote not very creative lyrics, but catchy no. hook. I thought the hook oh, was yeah, the catchy. Hook. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what that's that was what I wrote. Oh, I was well. like, the hook is good. That's yeah. actually my favorite part about this song, that and the bass line. Yeah, bass line rips. I have a problem where <laughs> I don't necessarily listen to the bass the first time I listen mm. through a song. It kind of like it's not where my ear is like drawn to. Yeah, um, but I <laughs> I'm sure it was great. No, I don't it really it remember. It was. <laughs> and then the key change towards the end was really cool. Oh. i said key change but then oh this is i think this is where we differ Mm because after the key change i was like i like this song less now oh really yeah i think the transition to the key change could have been a little bit better yeah just a little bit better so Mm -hmm. it felt less awkward if you're like oh we're going to the key change Ah. and then you expect something more and then it doesn't right it wasn't any bigger it wasn't any grander it was just in a different key i was like so this is just transposition yeah do you listen to dance music often yeah you do okay cool. that's why i was like where is it (laughs) it's uh, well that's good that you say that because i don't Uh. so it's like we have two different like views yeah. here our um opinions are lining up so far <laughs> yeah so that's interesting let's go to the next one secrets yeah. um, oh you're fire <laughs> <laughs> i said there's a lot going on lyrics on the back burner and i said <laughs> not a huge fan of the builds and i said try hard do a lipa <laughs> oh <laughs> you know this song could have worked if the melody and the production went well together like i felt like there was a lot of tension in the song but none of it resolved for me yeah um like i said the bass line is good Mm -hmm. and i think it sat properly with the bass drum yeah like with the boom boom Uh like it sat properly there Mm -hmm. but this is also going to be my overall critique of the album too Mm -hmm. we there was barely any low end it all you heard when the low end was the bass and the bass drum or yeah. the kick drum at least and you wanted more sub yeah, yeah. i definitely wanted more sub okay and it, everything was just high gotcha. everything was just super high maybe it had at least more mids mm-hmm. and like even the vocals yeah. like, i was like you cut off <laughs> yeah like a lot of well no, the mix is definitely interesting because you can definitely tell that it was intentional. Oh, but yeah. they're like bold moves. Like they're really bold moves. And it's like if you go that bold, it's either going to work really well or it's or not, not. going to work at all. And this didn't. Yeah. Um, the strings in this song, though, weren't yeah. that bad. Uh-huh. Um, I think they could could have been at <laughs> least like a little bit quieter. Yeah. Um, like I said, I was not understanding what she was saying. <laughs> I said the lyrics could use some work. Yeah next you lose <laughs> See, this one i said this one scared me <laughs> like i was listening and then all of a sudden there was this big like Burr! do you remember that yeah yeah this i think this is the one song though that the vocals weren't completely drowned out oh, okay yeah i no, can I, understand i agree with that yeah and i like the production oh uh-huh. but my favorite part about this song uh-huh. was the guitar strumming Oh. The guitar sounded nice. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. I wanted more of that. No, the vocals in this one were harsher. And I feel like that fit the distorting and the uh-huh. other instruments. The other songs, like, there was, like, this light, like, whisper vocal. And everything was like, bow, bow, 
brown. And I'm like, okay, I get it that you're not really highlighting the vocal, but then again, it's like the, the name of the songs. And then like, I don't know. It just felt like, it was like, is the vocal highlighted or is it not? Should I be paying attention or should I not? Because mm-hmm. it's like in some songs, it like is the main thing and then sometimes it's not. And I just felt like it was a little confusing as yeah. to what I was listening to. Yeah. Yeah, I think the drums in this song were carrying the yeah. the, the song. Um, but like I said, the vocals were mixed well, and I was grateful for that because I could understand some of what she was singing. <laughs> um, I also wrote, like a grungy Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, no, that's a perfect way. Because lo- I was, felt like I was in a video game. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we're playing Mario Kart. <laughs> I feel like, though, this song would do great as an acoustic version with just the guitar strumming. Oh, yeah. Mm, I would listen to it. Yeah. I feel like if you took out the elect- some of the electronic elements, yep. it would let the other stuff shine through. Cool. We can move on for something for two. Something for two. No. You don't like this one? No. Okay, this is the first difference. I kind of ranked this one higher. I was like, it's simpler. I like it. And there's a lot of distortion. I was like, that's one thing about this album is the freaking distortion. And some songs I thought it worked really well, and some I did not think it worked well at all. The distortion felt so centered. Uh, okay. And like, not, I guess like, you can do anything with distortion, but I would like to spread it out evenly. Um, okay. Like the field uh, okay. that we're listening. It just felt so centered, and it just felt, it started to feel like a bunch of background noise. Yeah. Me, that I was like okay. Um okay. yeah. But I feel like it gets worse the distortion. <laughs> Damn, this this is going to go very differently. <laughs> Anything else to say about no, that? No, this okay. is one of my least favorites. Okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right. The next song Cherry. Cherry. I like this song. Yeah, me too. I like this yeah, song. This song, song is great. Because because yeah. the thing with the lyrics is like, not like ve- not bad. They're very simple and straightforward, but, you know, you can always improve. <laughs> yeah. No. I wrote the transition from something for two to Cherry was really good. Yep. And I, I said the style of this song fit her voice really well. Yes. Unlike yes. the other ones. This yes. song did. This is it worked for her. Uh-huh. And like I said, um, it was not as word vomit as the other songs. Because yeah. that's what I feel like what was like tearing me apart in the other songs that I felt like she was just spouting words and, and, and phrases that really did not connect. Mm-hmm. But this one did. I was yeah. like, Yeah. Cherry, you're killing me. Like <laughs> Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I it, said the the last chorus was fire. Like, oh there was my, like, <laughs> dude! And then it, you heard there was like in the second verse there was like more saturation in her voice, yeah. and I was like, that really works. Yeah. Saturation works really well with this production. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, I was like, yeah, that was great. That was a good. And I also said about this song, like I felt what it was about. Yeah, like, like I could like internalize or vision like what she was singing about. Because mm-hmm. like with the other ones, it was like. Oh, sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> Whispering, yeah, really. It was like, oh. And, like, I think she did whisper, like, whisper sing a little bit in this one, but mm-hmm. it, it it worked. All right. Cherry, good song. Yeah, Highly Cherry, really good song to it. Yeah. Eight is halfway. Halfway. <sighs> this is an interlude. <laughs> this is an interlude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um,. Everything for me sounded like it was in a different room, a different space, and I was yeah. like, "What am I listening to?" It like when the vocals went away, uh-huh. I was like, "I could listen to this." It was like yeah. trance like, and yeah. I was like, "Okay, uh-huh. I could listen to that." No, I wrote it was a little annoying. Yeah, <laughs> and I said the my there was a nice key change midway. Yeah, yeah, to, the, midway, like yeah. literally halfway. Yeah, that's when the song is like, "Oh yeah, this is a nice interlude." Yeah. Like, that first half was, like, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. Hysterical Us. When I, this one came on, it it felt different than the other ones. Because there was that retro guitar and that, like, 
acoustic piano and i was like oh this is different like i'm enjoying this like I, we're getting rid of these like weird synth coin sounds and like we're coming <laughs> back to more like a familiar <laughs> tone and like i was like oh i like it and i was like this one was probably one of the easiest ones to listen to yep. for me but i also think that her voice was, didn't fit the production no. i really love the production of the song yeah like i loved it but I felt like different vocals would have sounded better yeah. on this track. I said a deeper voice with a little bit of saturation. Yeah. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, um, like, I feel like if they, like, Cherry, the vocals on Cherry, like, they should have done that more so for the full yep. album. But I also, like, I read up on this band. They're a newer band. And they're coming into, like, the scene. Well, they were when this album came out. And um, they were, I, I'm assuming they were still trying to find their sound yeah. when this came that's out. What it's, that's what this album sounds yeah. like, experimental. Yeah. Very experimental. Yeah. And some things worked and some things didn't. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I could definitely hear that. In mm-hmm. Like I said, it just seems like it's drum and bass <laughs> over, over there on the low end alone. <laughs> yeah. More, more mids would be cool. Everything, all the synth like sounds are so super high like it, it it just clashes and i'm like what am i listening to <laughs> all right uh prophecy i like prophecy <laughs> yeah i i like prophecy okay. um i said the lyrics are slightly cheesy yeah like it, it was cheesy no it reminded me of a christmas song <laughs> <laughs> i love christmas songs <laughs> i love christmas songs um with the, I think there were like bells in there. I was like, or maybe higher synths. Do you know something? what was annoying? What? The water droplet. Oh, it was like, yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs> but the thing is, some people really love that sound. I do not like that sound. No, and I've tried to like produce with that sound before, it's, and it's, 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 it takes away. It's from a meme. A lot. That's a meme. Like, you use that when you're making a meme, when you're yeah. making like something funny. <laughs> Prophecy is not funny. This is your future. <laughs> <laughs> don't add water droplets um the water is in my but picture. i actually did like the production yeah besides the water drop vocals are okay everything i said everything is just too high but the strings are my favorite part yeah about the this like they're cool. my favorite layer the strings yeah. were great i said it was kind of boring um yeah i can see that i really like the lyrics in this one yeah they're cheesy but i like them yeah now we go to follow the leader uh, again, for me, this was vocals are eh, like uh, wow. I really like the vocals. You on like this track. the vocals on this one? Yeah, I said the vocal production is intense and purposeful. I feel like I, well, I think it was this song that I heard like the most harmonies. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yes, this you is like thick. <laughs> the the vocals are thick instead of sounding so thin. Um, yeah. I said I, the production is a little bit simple. Yeah. But I like it like that. Like, it, it wasn't that bad. Um, yeah. And repetition in the lyrics works because, like, I think the thing is, is, like, this is definitely a song where they didn't want you to focus on the lyrics as much because mm-hmm. they repeated so much. And then everything was going on in the background. Gotcha. Like, that's when I was like, yeah, like, it's not supposed to be, like, listen to meaningful lyrics right now. It was more like, um, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to repeat these words so you get it. And I like songs like that. Yeah. Very straightforward. Yeah. No, I I feel like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Um, I I thought it was harsh. Like <laughs> it was harsh. Yeah. <laughs> like the mix was like bright. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. Almost all of these mixes are so bright. Yeah. And I was like, Oh we we need to cut some of that off right now. Domino. Domino. Okay. <laughs> I'm interested to know your opinion on this one. Um, this is the first time I heard her s- sing in Spanish. That caught me off guard. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yep, there are Spanish lyrics in this song. <laughs> wow. Um, I actually like these lyrics <laughs> a lot. <laughs> the bass line is good. Um, I said drums could be better in the mix. Like, they could sit better. Yeah. Um... And then I said, put reverb on the drums instead of the voice. Okay. Like, 
maybe because I feel like the vocals is just taking up all the reverb, taking yeah. up all the space. Maybe if we gave some to the other instruments it and less on the vocals, this would re- it would sound better. It would sound like they were like in the same room together. Yeah, together. Yeah. It'd sound more together. Yeah. No, I feel like that was also an artistic choice. They were like, we're gonna make it sound like they're in different spaces. But yeah. It just didn't work. Um, I said. The vocals are low, uh, hence why I did not catch the Spanish. Um, the beat was nice. Yeah. Uh, there was this instrument that came out of nowhere. I wrote here that the production is heavy and thoughtful. Because yeah. that was intentional. Everything in this oh, song yeah, for was sure. intentional. But it was like out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it didn't fit to me, at least. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the song lyric-wise, though. Yeah. I like what she's saying. Like, when I was reading the lyrics, I was liking, like, you know, what she was saying. Yeah, I was listening to it on my these headphones, which are typically kind of bright. So mm, Mine was bass heavy. Yeah. Because I was listening to it on beats. Oh, uh, okay. So but, you, that's but why guess, you heard but, the... Guess what? <laughs> I, maybe I shouldn't have done this, but literally halfway throughout, I had to take my beats off because oh. I was getting so annoyed. <laughs> I said, I've, I said, I'm just going to listen to it on my iPhone because I can't stand to listen to the mixes anymore. Because it was so bass heavy? No. It's because there wasn't any. There wasn't any. <laughs> like, there was barely there. anything. Like, yeah. it was just a lot of high end. It was so yeah. bright. And I'm like, I should not be listening to this on beats. Yeah. Like, this is, like, killing me. So I had to take them off and listen to my iPhone speakers. Your iPhone? Yeah. Okay. So just now i we were listening to domino that synth sounded fine yeah. on the iphone but on these like it was like i don't i guess it was this specific frequency that that distortion was in but like mm-hmm. it was like overpowering everything and i was like that's all i can hear right now i ranked this one really low um i thought i liked it at first but then the chorus i couldn't stand to listen to i like the chorus very like you know it's very uh it's very it's giving destruction (laughs) Destruction. i like that domino domino dream catching (laughs) i love this one oh i like this one a lot actually i said the the percussion in the beginning i was like ooh, okay um everything sounded ethereal to me um so i expected the vocals to sound very ethereal Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did say the vocal production could have been better, as I said on all the other songs. Yeah. Uh, the talking, I said the talking singing needs to stop. <laughs> she was like, like, yeah. like as she was singing, she was like technically talking too, and I'm like, it works when it works, but when it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and yeah. you gotta give up. No, I, <laughs> I agree. I was, I, my first comment was more weird whispering. Mm -hmm. Um, I said the instruments were like popping out like crazy. Like I did not like the mix of this one at all. Like I like specifically heard different instruments at different times and it wasn't like it's, it did not sound like they were in the same room at all to me. Yeah. I like to put, but I like the choice (coughs) of instrument. Like the instrumental I think was good. I actually like this one. Um, I think production wise. No, I wouldn't say this is my favorite, like, yeah. production-wise, because I know which one's my favorite, <laughs> production-wise. Um, but I said the drums and the percussion were addicting. They carried yeah. the song. It was carrying the song mm-hmm. for me. That's how I was able to listen to it, because I was yeah. like, we're in that groove. Okay. No, I got that. And I, I said that I like the samples, and I said I like how the vocal follows the synth. Oh, this is the song where the synth was doing that weird, and the vocal it was like... It sounds like a skeleton is singing. Yeah. That's what I thought of. And I was like, this is so cool. Like yeah. I was like, it sounds like the un- the the dead are are singing. The un- the dead <laughs> are singing. Never heard the dead sing, but well, well now you have. You have. <laughs> in in dream, dream catching. catching. Yeah. You hear dead people. Uh, okay. <laughs> um I and lastly, the beginning. The beginning. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I can't wait to talk about this. Yeah. Um, maybe it's just because of the mood I was in. But while I was listening to the album, I was not feeling great. 
yeah. I was like, but then the beginning came on and I got happy. <laughs> yeah. I felt happy and I was like, huh, interesting. Yeah. I said, I like the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Um, I said, I said, it's an organized mess, the song. Um, like, yeah. with, with meaning that there's a lot of things going on, but I don't know, it was organized. Um, and I said, the this is where, because it, it was kind of singing talking yeah. in the chorus, mm-hmm. but this is where the singing talking kind of works for me. Yeah. Because I was like, this yeah, this is a good place for yeah. it. And then I also said, the vocals aren't um, drowned out. Um, yeah, but they're I, still a little bit entrenched in reverb, and the delay could be less. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wrote the vocal fits on this. Oh one. my god, yeah. yeah, dude, I like. There's only like three songs on this whole album where the vocal like actually yeah. fits, and like this is one of them. And I said that it was groovy, and the samples were cool. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, and um, I like the whole like soundscape kind of feel at the beginning that was really cool to me and like i said the mix was the eight was an eight the production was an eight and the lyrics were a six um yeah i i felt like the the mix worked on this one yep Um, it did and it's very it's it's interesting because it sounds to me that they like got like four different mix engineers and they were like all right guys you take these two songs you take these two songs but you know that it was like the same guy mixing the whole thing yeah and so it's very it's very interesting because like you could tell like a lot of um thought was given to each of these songs Mm -hmm. and um it's just it's surprising like what works and what doesn't because yeah I I'm not opposed to them sounding like they're in <laughs> like a different room, but like I I really love that like musicianship feel. Like it's like oh they're all playing together. I f- and I feel like that's the whole point of like why some people like choose to like put like reverb on things. It's because you need to sound like you're in the same room that this is recorded all together at the yeah. same time. Cause it's not gonna have, like there's a you can tell the difference when things are recorded at the same time because mm-hmm. you can hear that they're in the groove versus mm-hmm. separately like it's it's a bit more static yeah you yeah can definitely tell cool yeah no overall I feel like this album was like something different like I had never heard anything like it before oh me yeah well I have t- you know what I said in my notes what. I think it's because when I heard Prophecy, I thought of Ariana Grande, but I said oh, really? that this is like an Ariana Grande, Melanie Martinez, and Doria Electra oh, okay. had a child. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> or, or it's either, it's either I'm going to replace Ariana Grande with Grimes, because oh, that yeah, vocal yeah. is definitely Grime-like. Yeah. No, I could definitely see that. Yeah, so it's yeah. like Grimes, Melanie Martinez, because there's that weird, weirdness yeah. to the songs and then dorian electra because dorian electra is a freak i love them <laughs> yeah no i i don't listen much of dorian electra or grimes so mm. i um i typically you know my music tastes stay to the acoustical like not much going on no thoughts about Mercurial world. I, I literally have half of the songs on the album liked. Like I strictly have seven songs liked on wow. Spotify, um, and it's crazy. I think that's why I give the album a six. If I liked every song, it'd be a ten. Yeah, but I don't. But you don't. Yeah, if there were a few songs that I would like keep on repeat, it would be Cherry. And Cherry's so good. The beginning. Yeah. Cherry's good. The yeah. beginning and Cherry literally yeah. top two. Yeah. But I think that that would be, those would be the only two that I would listen to over mm, and over again. I I like prophecy. If I'm not listening, <laughs> if yeah. I'm not listening, like yeah, Domino is good though. I yeah. I swear. So will you be checking out Magdalena Bay again? I actually did. <laughs> oh yeah, did you listen to more? I did listen. I listened to their top stream song on Spotify. Uh huh. It is not bad. I listened to Kill Shot. Okay. Kill Shot is not bad. Like I like this type of music, but it's like very few artists. We are now leaving a mercurial world. If I could ever say that word right. Mercur- mercurial world. Mercurial world. 
by Magdalena Bay. Listen to it. Listen to it. Put and your you understand yeah. what we're saying. Comment your own beliefs about it in the comments below. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching today's video and thank you to Rocky for joining me today. It was so much fun thank reviewing you for having this me. album. It was interesting to see where our <laughs> minds were and yeah. what we agreed on and what we didn't <laughs> agree on. Uh, so I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meanwhile, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you have a great weekend.